Hello, fellow Etsy seller. So you want to extract your Etsy customer emails and you're looking for the most efficient and cheapest way to do so. Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to cover three cheap and easy ways to download all of your customer email data, which as you know, is extremely valuable to your business. Now, first, before we dive into the laptop and show you these three methods, first, are we even allowed and able to extract Etsy customer email data? And the answer is yes, you're both allowed and able to download that data. Now, when it comes to email marketing, you know, actually, you know, reaching out to those emails ultimately, which is likely what you want to do with them, these will kind of vary depending on the country that you're in. So you'll just need to kind of brush up on the email marketing laws of your country, whether that's the European Union, United States, Canada, Australia, or wherever you are. And point number two, which is extremely important to keep in mind, is Amazon, the world's largest e commerce company, years ago used to also allow sellers to download. Amazon email customer data. For some time now, that has not been the case. Amazon now says that these customers are their customers and not yours. So therefore, the customer data is Amazon's and not the seller's. And I could absolutely see Etsy moving in the same direction. So while this is still available, which may not be for long, make sure that you are downloading your Etsy customer emails even if you don't really know what to do with them yet, have them ready. And at any point in the future, you can then take those emails, use them in email marketing campaigns, create lookalike audiences on Facebook or other social media platforms, but just make sure whether free or paid, you are downloading your Etsy customer email data. Now let's get to the tutorial. All right, so first things first, go ahead and log into your Etsy shop manager. Once you're there, head over to the left-hand side, click on orders and shipping. Once you're here in this section, click on completed. And this is where we'll be extracting all of our Etsy email data. So method number one, this is the simplest and easiest, but the most time consuming. So as you can see, these are real products with real customers. So I'll have to blur some of this uh, information because it will be sensitive, but what you'll do is go ahead and scroll down and as you see, each order has a name associated with the dropdown. So go to the name of each order, hit the dropdown, and at the very bottom, you will see the email. So in this case, uh, we have the you know, name and then at gmail.com. So you can go ahead and copy that and then paste into an Excel file or a Google spreadsheet. Move down to the next, go to the name, hit the dropdown, right? We have the email, copy that email, paste it, and so on, right? So simple easy, but as you can tell, very time consuming, especially given the fact that we have literally thousands of orders here. So that's method number one. Now method number two, taking this a step further and literally going 50 times faster. What we'll do is here under the orders per page, make sure you set the maximum. If there's anything more than 50, go ahead and select that. But for right now, 50 is the maximum that you can select. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Next, we're going to right click and then we're going to click on inspect. Okay. So click on inspect. It's gonna bring up this scary uh, coding or HTML kind of over here on the right-hand side. All you're gonna do is click on Command F at the same time, and that's gonna bring up this search bar. In the search bar, go ahead and select or type in body, just like you see here, so body. Then really simply scroll down until you see this section here. So it's body class equals transitional dash wide is slash signed and so on, right? Right above the end if here. So it's this section here is what we want, okay? So what we're going to do is go ahead and command C to copy this. Then we're going to go over to this tool right here, this email extractor tool, which I'll be linking in the description section below, along with everything else that I cover here in the tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and paste, right? Just like you see here, looks super messy and ugly, but it's very simple, I promise. And then for your filter options, as you can see, we can filter just emails, just URLs, or just phone numbers. So you do both phone number and email or run through this process separately. In this case, right for this video, we're just gonna select emails, okay? So we'll select emails. Down here for sort options, we can sort by uh, numbers or alphabetical order, email domains. Well, I'm just gonna leave it as none. Click on go. And as you can see, we have all of these emails automatically extracted from this page. So you can see much faster than going one by one manually, but again, the max is 50. In this case, we still have 29 to go. So we're almost done. If you can kind of see here, if it's not completely blurred up. We have all of these emails are duplicated and that's just kind of the way that the tool works. I wish it wasn't that case, but that is the case. So there's one small additional step we want to do. 
So from here, we have all of our emails on the bottom box, Command A to select, Command C to copy. Then we're gonna head over to this tool right here. It's called dduplist.com. Again, you don't have to worry. I'll be linking it in the description section for you. Go ahead and paste that data, Command V to paste, here in the top box. Click on Submit. And as you can see, right, we have the top box. That was all of the duplicated emails. Then here at the bottom, as you can see, we had 106 original lines, 54 removed, and 52 are remaining. Basically, all those duplicates are removed. You can go ahead right up here and get rid of this uh, emails right at the top, because that's useless. And then boom, there we go. So there are the rest of our emails, right? 50 at a time. We can go ahead and select, we can see the copy. And then we can add this to an Excel spreadsheet, a Google Sheet, or wherever you want to put this. You can input it into your you know, email marketing service like MailChimp or Klaviyo or whatever that you use. And now to download the rest of our emails, go ahead and clear out of all the data here in the tools. So go ahead and delete all that. Command A, delete. Go back to our email tool, Command A and delete. There we go. Command A, delete. There we go. So everything's clean now. Now we're going to head back to our Etsy shop orders and shipping tab. We are on page one, downloaded all of that. Now we're gonna move to page two. Okay, so we hit page two. From here, what I like to do just to make sure is go ahead and refresh the page once you've selected kind of the next, just to make sure that the HTML updates. All right, so we're on page two, same thing. Right click, click on inspect, wait for it to load just a second and should be all loaded now. Command F to search and then body. Scroll down, there we go, right here. Body class equals this kind of section here. Click on it. Command C to copy, back to our email extractor, Command V to paste, click on go, copy all of the emails, go back to our remove duplicate list, Command V to paste, click on submit, and there we go. We've now removed all the duplicate emails, go ahead and copy, paste those, and so on, until we've run through all of the pages on your Etsy shop. So I know this process still isn't ideal, but this is by far the fastest free way to extract all of your Etsy customer emails. But to take things a step further and make things even faster, uh, you'll need to use a paid tool. And the tool that I personally use, because it's not worth my time or my team's time to manually do this process, is Marketsy. So how Marketsy works is as follows. So first thing you wanna do is download the free Google Chrome extension, which you kind of see here. Again, will be linked in the description section below. Once you install it, which is really simple and free to do, You'll kind of see it up here in the top right of your screen. Step number two is to create a free Marketsy account. All right, so with the free account, as you can kind of see here, you can download up to 100 orders, which is nice. What I use personally is the hobby. Again, this definitely depends on the size of your Etsy shop and business. So I can, with hobby, I can download up to 10,000 orders uh, per month, which is pretty awesome, and includes a lot of other data, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So it kind of depends on the level uh, that you're doing business. And whether with a free or paid plan, what you'll do is head back to your Etsy orders and shipping tab. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Marketsy Chrome extension and click on the connect button. Again, this is assuming that you've already set up your free Marketsy account. So once you hit connect here, when you go back to your Marketsy web app, and you should only have to do this once, we'll scroll up, click on integrations, and then you'll be able to see how much data Market C is actually uh, pulling. So in this case, right for this Etsy shop, uh, we had 3,140 emails that we were able to download. So it'll take just a few minutes for that to kind of sync together one time. Then once that's done, click on customer data. And then from here, you can download not just customer emails, but a lot of other data, which is really great. And if I scroll down here, I can show you. So we have order date, email, first and last name, their address, scroll over here, products ordered, total order value and their order ID. So you can download all this data. If you scroll back up, click on download. So you can download that, upload that into your email marketing software. You can you know, save it as an Excel file or a Google spreadsheet, which is what I do for now until we start actually using and kind of marketing with these emails. So much, much faster, literally up to 10,000 emails instantly. But of course, it depends on the size of your business and how much your time is worth. So regardless, I hope you found this tutorial extremely beneficial for your Etsy shop. And if you want even more extremely valuable step-by-step -step Etsy shop tutorials like Etsy advertising, keyword research, proper title and tags to up to 20Xing your Etsy shop results, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the Etsy tutorials that we have here on the channel. And as a special bonus for those of you who got to the very end, for a limited time, we are giving the biggest discount we ever have on our Etsy shop mastery course on udemy.com. For a limited time, you can get this as low as $10. And we'll be having a link in the description section below 
Just last week, we had one of our students actually 20X her business. She went from generating $800 a month with her Etsy shop to becoming one of the top 1% Etsy sellers, and she's not the only one. So this is extremely powerful on product research and development, properly optimizing your Etsy listing, your shop, your images, your titles, your tags, your descriptions, your alt text, which a lot of people don't talk about, advertising, and so much more. Uh, I promise it is gonna blow your mind or you get your money back. So if you're interested uh, in that course, Feel free to check it out. Link will be in the description section below along with everything else. And as always, thank you so much for watching. God bless and look forward to seeing you in the next video.